Back then here at Wilton Mill, heat number four heading out for their practice. Let's have a look at the grid for this one. This will be the last heat with some practice before it. Bring that graphic in a moment. Keep the comments coming in on the YouTube stream. Let us know how you're doing. Ben Daly has pole position in this one alongside Chris Roger. Daz Teal and Jack Cameron Drayton starting row two. Steph Theodore and Mike Coppin up on row three. Moving into the middle of the pack then on row four, we will find Rogerio Mendez and James Corp. Thanasi Marlikot and Andrea Fioravanti are on row five. Josh Allen and Rob Dowsett go for row number six. Those starting towards the back of the field, including our C3 drivers. Ned Douglas and Jed Toole start on row seven. Sam Morris and Gareth Pritchard are on row eight. Pete Crompton is on his own on row number nine. Uh, hello to Kim Ely. Come on, Rihanna Percox, do it for the girls at Motorsport Woman. Great race from Rihanna. Uh, as we say, that this is probably her strongest circuit. She's won uh, won full rounds here before of the Sprint Series. Yeah, and, she took uh, her first ever wins in Club 100 Machinery here as well, yeah. both in uh, unless I'm really correct, the lightweights and then subsequently the Clubman correct uh, class when she went into that that used to exist as an invitational class within Club 100 Sprint Racing. And obviously raced uh, well for many uh, a year for Birmingham University in the BUKC yep. here at Wilton Mill and other, other circuits, of course. But this one in particular for Rihanna is a very, very good place in her racing history. Uh, as we say, we're, hit, we're into heat four now, or will be in a few moments once these practice laps are completed. It's been frenetic, hasn't it, so far from our lightweights, but I don't think we would have expected anything less from them. No, absolutely. Uh, very much in line with uh, what we had from our heavyweights this morning. It's, uh, it has been, I am, I am, sorry, I'm, I am going to bring up the, uh, one, of, one of the forecasts that we have here in the box, because the, the clouds just start looking more and more ominous every time I look at them. Um, but, yeah, it's been a frenetic so far for our, our lightweights and uh, there is absolutely no suggestion that that should change as we go into the last of these uh, this cycle what do we mean by that we just mean that at the end of this one all of the drivers will have taken part in at least one heat we'll Correct. stop having these practices which means we need to be quicker We're taking you through the grids bluntly is what it means um, and yeah, so after this all drivers will have got themselves up to speed in their first race of the day just uh, before we do go into the frantic uh, part of the day i just do want to give a, a thanks to some of our uh, supporters of club 100 a uh, big thank to uh, calgate performance for providing the uh, brake systems on these carts cz chains as well whose logo you've seen uh, on the stream bridgestone for supply of of the tires and uh, alpha timing as well for all the things that they do, and we definitely would, uh, would have a much more difficult time with our jobs without alpha timing. Absolutely. Here we are, though. We are good for the off here in heat number four. Ben Daly there in your 135 car on pole. Chris Woodger alongside with his distinctive blue radiated fan look. Uh, I really shouldn't describe how many really, should I? Here we go then for heat number four. Away we go. You can see the intent on Chris Woodger as he looks across, but he has been taken there by Dar Darren Teal as they come through the crook for the first time. Is it all clean as they head up the hill? Yes, it is. But Ben Daly leads them through the top part of the circuit. Heading towards Inkermans now and down towards Ashby. Here we are going through there it looks like everyone's been able to oh no someone's uh, there's a round there incident there the and it involves gone. several carts indeed the uh, yeah the 85 is round of uh, of theodoro indeed steph theodoro and uh, we'll look on timing to see who else has been involved in that one but uh it's a shame because the first part of the lap seemed pretty good but there is a bit of a recovery oh. in Ashby and there is the incident Daz Teal and there look going across the uh, the grass there looks like it's Barnacote. the Nassi Barnacote indeed in the 62 
Uh, so that was a big moment for him there. And what started as such a clean lap actually ended up being fairly clumsy. But it's Mike Coppin who has come to the fore in amongst all that chaos. Coppin's gone. He's got a 2.6 second lead. Surely he should win this race now. But what's going to happen behind him? James Corp has come up to second place. There's a battle going on there between the number 20 of Josh Adams and Thanasi Barnacote. And Chris Woodger has been one of the drivers who's fallen afoul of that first lap shenanigans. He's down to 16th place. Jack Cameron Drayton has had an incident. And Rob Dowsett... Uh, hasn't even crossed the timing uh, line, Andrew, so some big yeah. issues on that first lap. Yeah, he's stuck on the exit of Ashby Corner, take out penalties plus six positions, handed out already to Ned Douglas and Daz Teal. A uh, bit of pressure there on Teal now, second place in the championship last year, looking at another top five this season, but this has not been a good start to his day of racing here at Wilton Mill. Round to finish lap number two then. Mike Cop in a 54.147, that time around a 54.563 for James Corp. So the lead is now three seconds for Mike Coppin. This is what he needs. We mentioned that at the top of, of this session, he's had a great start to the season as number 62 of the Nasi Barnico down, goes down the inside of Ben Daly. Coppin had a great start at, uh, if I get this correct, Shennington and at Buckmore Park. Yes. But it's kind of gone a little bit off the boil since then and needs a big day here at Wilton Mill if he's going to get his championship title challenge back on track. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking here at James Court defending against Ned Douglas in third for Nassie Barnacote, as we mentioned near the start of the lap now up into fourth place and chasing these two as they come through the boot. Overtake under yellow penalty has been handed out to Andrea Fioravanti in the 178. That is, uh, that's a basic one, unfortunately. Although, maybe benefit of the doubt, the yellow flags were coming out quite uh, frantically there. There is a penalty confirmed on your screens upon right for Andrea. And uh, now it is a three-way battle over second place. Ned Douglas goes to the inside but thinks better of it. Behind them is another pack of three, that of Ben Daly, Daz Teal and Josh Adams. Josh Adams, one of another driver from... Uh, Young Drivers Championship as well. Pod to pod, side by side between Barnacote and Douglas. Douglas trying to hold himself in there. Went a, a little bit across the grass, but is now going to be switched back by Barnacote. Great stuff. Really good stuff from Thanasi Barnacote there, and that'll be third place. Yeah, fair play to Douglas for trying to keep his uh, his foot in there, but it, it, uh, it all got a bit bumpy across the, as there's a, a penalty for Ned Douglas for track limits, which is unsurprising maybe, being as he yep. uh, went across the grass. It is quite uh, clear in the briefing notes that went out with the new format of briefing that was used for this round do not use the grass beyond the runoff use the runoff concrete as much as you like but do not use the grass here is Daz Teal uh, going on the inside of Ben Daly at, uh, at Christmas Corner and gets the job done so he's now up into fifth place Josh Adams Nicely waiting there, just being nice and patient. Still a good amount of time in this race to go. The drivers immediately ahead of him. So I want to throw away, and also drivers that have got penalties, in fact. So if you consider, if you can get past uh, Daly, he effectively gains another two positions immediately because we know that uh, Teal and Douglas have big position penalties on their scorecards at this stage of proceedings. Three minutes, sorry, two and a half minutes to go. Uh, Mike Coppin's still comfortable at the moment. Thanasi Barnacote's starting to go quickly though. That's a new fastest lap from Barnacote of a 53.496 in this heat. Steph Theodoru on a bit of a recovery drive after the incident at Ashby in the first lap. He's working his way up the order. Just got past Sam Morris and Jed Tool on the last, uh, well it was two laps ago now actually. Uh, but he is working his way up. Uh, through the order. Racing Rogerio. Rogerio Mendez has just gained a position. He's now 12th. He's gone through with Jack Cameron Drayton past Pete Crompton. Here is Barnacote then on the tail of James Corp. Battle over second place. And uh, There's no point in them working together, just to be clear uh, here, because they just haven't got time on it. Really two minutes to catch onto the back of Mike Cop, who is the main beneficiary of what was a fairly uh, mad start to this one. With 90 seconds left on the clock, it is now an out and out fight one would have thought for second place between these two the red number plates denoting they are both members of the class one class within this and this is Thanasi having a look down the inside nice and tidy move there and I think James Corp um, reminds me actually of, uh, of Steve Hicks going by Andrew Ward a couple of races ago mate. I think he knows 
he knew the situation. He doesn't want to waste time yeah. and lose valuable points having a, a, a battle over what is essentially one championship point. On, on a day, well, well, not just a championship point, but also as, as a driver who's not taking part in every round this season, he'll want to get in the A True. final. True. And getting in an A final today is going to be especially tough. There is Mike Coppin, about to finish lap number seven and go on to his final lap of this heat. There it is. Just looks comfortable here. Barnacote confirmed in second place. Interesting battle coming on to the last lap here then. Ned Douglas in fourth place ahead of Daz Teal. Daz Teal has a good run up the hill here. And is he going to have a look to the inside? No, he thinks better of it. Behind them, Josh Adams is defending here against Ben Daly. And that is a switch between Ben Daly and Josh Adams over sixth place. As they come through Ashby. So I think it is still Ned Douglas though ahead of Daz Teal ahead of them. Steph Theodorio, I think we, sh we should mention if we haven't already. What a, that's a really good comeback drive considering he was uh, turned around and facing the wrong way on lap number one. Back into the top ten. But we're waiting now for Mike Coppin to come round the final couple of corners. And this has probably been his most comfortable win of the season. It's been a good season so far as Daz Teal's up the inside of Douglas on the last lap. But Mike Coppin takes his eighth heat win of the year there in heat number four. Fadassi Barnacote is second. James Corp uh, is in third place. Daz Teal did get it on the line for fourth ahead of Ned Douglas in fifth. Josh Adams sixth. Ben Daly seventh. Steph Theodoru eighth. Andrea Fioravanti ninth. Jed Tull, your top C3 runner there in tenth. Sam Morris, Rogero Mendes, Chris Woodger, Pete Compton, Jack Cameron Drayton, Gareth Pritchard and Rob Dowsett wrap out the field. We're going to take another short break.